Hey, what's up, guys? Today, it's a bit of a long session. I want to introduce the topic of how can you edge the impermanent loss uh, in your Uniswap investment. And this comes from one of the questions of a user, uh, of, a, of a member of our private community, Uniswap RI, on Telegram. So if you are a user of UniswapRI.com and you're a freaking user, you will be provided with this invite and you can join as a very uh, it's a pretty small but very high quality community around the topic of Uniswap with some of the largest investors. And so I'm here on Uniswap RI and I'm seeing uh, in the pool section, I'm seeing the highest uh, liquidity pools. And uh, the question of the user is, okay, these are great. These are uh, yielding, you know, between two and 3% right now, but how can is, uh, you know, how can a user edge the impermanent loss maybe using options? And so I want to share with you a strategy that I put together. It's pretty simple, uh, which is a possible way where you can uh, really edge the Permanent loss. If you if you need to do that uh, within your strategy, so let's uh, let's kind of dive in uh, in my in my recap. I put together a few pages that I want to go through with you. Um, so as usual, by the way, if you have any question feedback, feel free to comment down below or in within Uniswap RI, you find my details uh, in terms of uh, whatever Twitter and and Telegram, so we can chat about this. So. Uh, just diving in, uh, the, the first kind of really um, diagram I want to show you is probably you, you kind of seen this is the usual way to represent the impermanent loss on Uniswap, which is essentially the portfolio value. So, for example, if you uh, let's say the value of your portfolio at the, at the variation of the, ratio, of the ratio between the price you invested versus the current price. So you invested at the price of, um, you know, one, meaning uh, the uh, initial and the final price, uh, are, are, you know, we're the same. And so if the price goes down or goes up because of this impermanent loss, uh, the, the value of your portfolio always go down. Now, obviously, with Uniswap, you have the fees. And so fees are um, typical enough to, to provide a very good return on top of the impermanent loss. But that's, that's kind of how the D loss works. So uh, the idea today is to uh, provide you with a possible strategy based on option that offset the impermanent loss within a certain price range. So, for example, for simplicity, I picked... Uh, you know, the, the, the range between 0 0.5 and, and, and 2, which is corresponds to the scenario where the price halves or the price doubles compare uh, to where they are when you invest it. Now, the first thing I want to just focus on that little window, and I kind of plotted the uh, kind of the inverse of that curve because that was the uh, value of the portfolio uh, at, the, at the variation of the uh, you know the price uh, initial versus final. But versus here, we're showing the the impermanent loss. So the impermanent loss is uh, you know zero if uh, when the, when the price is equal to one, and you know when the price is goes to 0 0.5, so it helps. Uh, if you do the math, it's 5.7%. If the price doubles, again, it's 5.7%. So this is kind of really the impermanent loss. And um, to, to kind of give a little, um, you know, more tangible uh, view of this, for example, if, if we consider the price of Ethereum today, let's simplify it, I'll call it 400. Now, if the price divides by two, so it gets to 0 0.5, which is $200, uh, again, we're saying like there is an impermanent loss of, of 5.7%. Uh, if the price goes down, uh, it will go up by two, a factor of two. Again, it's 5.7%. So this is just to say that the impermanent loss is symmetrical. Uh, you know, if you divide or multiply uh, the, the price ratio by the same factor. And the other thing is important to notice is that the impermanent loss is always typically a fraction of the price change. So we're saying, you know, minus 50% will give you an impermanent loss of 5.7 uh, or a plus 100% will give you again 5.7. So it's, it's kind of 7, 6%, yeah, to call it 6% compared to, uh, you know, minus 50 plus 100. So it's, it's the order of magnitude lower. And, and so this is to say, don't be scared about impermanent loss. Don't exaggerate the fear of impermanent loss because typically it's just a fraction of what happens to the price. Now, let's consider a real case example. Uh, let's assume you want to invest or you invested $1,000 in the Ethereum USDC pool. And um, so, you know, at the beginning, let's say you invested at the current price, which is 400. So you have $1,000. Now, because, and, you know, don't forget, we're ignoring fees here. If the price goes of Ethereum goes down to uh you know, to, to half to 200, you would have 693. Now, if you kept the uh, your investment outside of Uniswap and you have 50-50 USDC, uh, Ethereum at the beginning, you would have 750. And so you have an impermanent loss of you know, $57. 
Uh, or, you know, if the price moved the other way and, and the price of Ethereum goes to 800, you would have 1443 compared to $1,500 if you kept the asset outside of Uniswap. So again, like an impermanent loss of 57. It's important to notice as usual that in the case the price goes down, this 57 is a real loss. If the price goes up, uh, this 57 is a kind of a missed uh, gain in a sense, right? So you're gaining but less than what you, you would have done if the, if the asset were outside of Uniswap. Now, what I want to show you is how you can edge the two sides of this impermanent loss by uh, buying option. Um, you, in particular, the, 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 the side that I denominated one, which is the price going down, you can edge it by buying a put option at the money, which so at the price of 400. And we're gonna see, you know, why is you can buy 0 0.285 Ethereum worth of option to cover $1,000. And the same thing, you can, at the, at the side of the price going up, you can edge it by buying a call option at the money. Uh, for 0 0.1425, and I'm going to show you in a second why this number come, where this number comes from. So let's start with the uh, with the side of of the put option, and, and I think it's important to understand what a put option is and and what the, what's the value of the put option. So uh, the, the value of a put option, let's assume you know we, we consider one eat one eater of a put option bought at four hundred dollars, which is you know, uh, which is the current price. So add the money is called add the money where the strike price of the option is equal to the current price. So it's important to notice that a put option is the um, right to sell one Ethereum at the price of $400. So if the price of Ethereum is above $400, the value of the option is pretty much zero because you can sell it for a price higher than 400. But if the price goes down and for example, gets to 200, then the value of the option is 200. Why? Because you can, in this scenario, you can essentially buy an ether for 200 and sell it for 400. So if you do the math, the value of the option is 200. This is kind of a little simplified, uh, doesn't take account of the time, but just so that you understand. So based on this logic, if you want to offset, we said here we had a, a loss of, uh, you know, permanent loss of $57, you could buy, you know, 57 divided by 200, 0 0.285 Ethereum of put option at 400, so at the money, and that would cover the impermanent loss in the, you know, extreme scenario. Now, if we consider the other side, and we, it's a similar logic. So again, like the call option, what is a call option? Is the right to uh, buy, uh, for example, in this case, one Ethereum, uh, at the strike price, so one Ethereum at 400. Now, at, at this, with the same logic, you know, if the price is lower than 200, the uh, value of the call option is pretty much zero because you always can buy an Ether cheaper. But if the price, for example, is goes to 800, now the value of the call option is 400. Why 400? Because again, you can uh, buy one Ethereum at 400 and sell it for 800. So if you do the math, uh, the value of the option is $400. And so with the same logic that we did before, uh, again, if we want to offset uh, the uh, you know 57 bucks worth of impermanent loss, you can you can buy 57 divided by 400, 0 0.1425 Ethereum worth of call option at the money at 400. Okay, so now if you put everything together, uh, the total value essentially is, you know, you have the impermanent loss and then you have the, the put option, the orange and the call option, the gray. And so within the extremes, uh, at, the, at the extremes, you would have that, um, you know, the value uh, of, of the put option is 57 minus 57 impermanent loss. So $0 and it's completely hedged. Same thing on the other side, 57 minus 57 is zero. So it's completely edge. And um, so the, the, the impermanent loss is completely covered between 200 and 800 uh, price range. And within this range, even if you look at here, the, the value of the option is even higher than the impermanent loss per se. So the last thing we need to consider is really what's the cost of the edging uh, of this strategy. And so we discussed that essentially we have to uh, buy two options, uh, the put option for 0.20, 8.5 Ethereum, we need to buy a call option for 0 0.1425, and then we're going to have the return from the pool of Uniswap. So in terms of uh, finding, uh, by the way, like it's, um, if you're not familiar with option, the, the, when you buy the option, the option have a premium, which is the price at which, you know, the, the price at which you buy that right to either buy or sell uh, the asset. And so, for example, you can, here you can you can go and, and, and buy either on a centralized platform like Deribit or on a decentralized platform, which I personally pr uh, prefer, uh, for example, Open, and you can see what the, uh, the author of options is in terms of put option here or call option here. And so I pick um, whatever option which have a maturity and expiry date at the end of October uh, and they, they have a strike price which is as close as possible with the current price so as sort of close at the money as possible 
And so and then I pro rata since the option we are, are expiring busy in 20 days, I kind of pro rata their premium uh, to, uh, to give a sort of value per month. So basically, uh, buying the put option would, would cost around $8.4. Buying uh, the call option will call about will, will cost about five dollars, and then the Uniswap USDC. I mean, we, we can go on Uniswap right here and see that uh, the U Ethereum USDC is kind of, is currently yielding around two percent per month. So I put here two percent, and we invested a thousand dollars. So kind of this is twenty twenty dollars. Now twenty dollars minus the cost of the option will give us six seven dollars, which is on a thousand dollars invested. This is a zero point seven zero point six zero point seven percent per month, which is on an annualized basis is a seven eight percent APY. Now is this high? Is this low? I mean, consider that this will be an APY on an Ethereum USDC uh, pair uh, without impermanent loss, so without uh, you know hedging completely the, the impermanent loss. And, uh, you know, which where you would still have exposure to Ethereum, you would still have a piece of US dollars. By the way, consider that the USDC die are yielding something probably in the lending platform right now, something probably around, uh, you know, uh, five, six, seven percent. Uh, and, and so and so this would be actually a pretty good return. It will. Yes, it would kind of erode about 70 percent of the fees if you compare to 20. Um, yeah, but it will still give you a, a you know decent return. Then the questions are maybe is there liquidity enough in open to do this? Uh, is it something you want to do? I mean, do you really expect an impermanent loss, um, uh, you know, uh, or, or price variation to be so meaningful? And in general, don't forget that you're offsetting the risk of an impermanent loss of six percent by your Eroding essentially 70% of a piece. So it's a bit of a trade-off. So this is kind of kind of to summarize to recap uh, what we saw today. We saw a possible option strategy to add the edge the impermanent loss uh, by buying a put option and call option at the money uh, in different quantities to, to be able to offset the impermanent loss within the uh, the range. You know, in the, in that case, you know, $200 to $800. You could do this. Uh, all decentralized. So, for example, with a platform like Open, uh, there's also others. Um, the, the thing is, they don't have a lot of liquidity right now, or on a centralized basis like Deribit. And uh, at current premiums, like if, we, if when we look at prices, we saw uh, that you're probably likely um, gonna erode, I, I think, 70% of the fees. But this may still be, um, you know, a good a good strategy depending on you know how you, if, if impermanent loss is really something important for you to edge. And, uh, and still will give a, a meaningful return on an annual basis. So I hope this is clear. It is a, a bit of a long video, a little complex video. As usual, um, if you have questions, uh, uh, you know, feel free to ask in the comments. Feel free to connect with me directly on Uniswap, ROI.com, and on Twitter. And um, yeah, if you like content around DeFi, Uniswap in particular, uh, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, have a great one, guys. Talks.